And that's why they say, hey, here's a rock. Find the way you want to go up. It is currently about 4.30 a.m. Maddie and I are in Moab, Utah, and in about an hour, we are gonna be heading on into Arches National Park. Maddie is around the fire, getting her teeth brushed. About to get the rooftop tent packed down, and then I think we are gonna get out of here. We might stop at Smackies and grab a little sausage biscuit or something on the way, but yeah, gonna get this packed down right quick and get on the road. Parks Pass. Yep. Wonderful. Got some maps for you folks. Uh, it's okay. We actually got one yesterday. <laughs> Alrighty. Thank you though. And you're all set to go. Alright, awesome. Have a good one. You too. Thank Thanks. You. It is currently 6.45 and Maddie and I have made it into Arches. These are so pretty. If y'all have not seen the last video, we did the Delicate Arch Trail, which is the most popular arch in all of Utah, it is what's on the Utah license plate, so it's pretty cool. These are the views we are working with. We're gonna be doing the Devil's Garden Trail today. 7.9 miles in and out, longest trail in Arches, I believe. I believe it says it's the most difficult, but correction, it is a loop. It's not an in and out, so that'll be nice. Uh, won't be hiking the same stuff twice. We're gonna get uh, over there and see you on the trailhead. Just before 7 a.m., about 65 degrees. This trail's probably gonna take us around five to six hours. Gonna take our time. Think there's eight different arches on it. Likely be finished around 12:30, 1:30 or so. Let's get to it. All right. What is the official time? 7:23. 7.23 and we are leaving the car. If it's nice out right now, it's mid 60s. Let's put a jacket on because we are in the shade and it's a little cool, got a nice little breeze, but as soon as we hit the trail and get going, I know it's gonna warm up. Probably will be shedding these very shortly. And we're off. Devil's Garden, 7.9 miles. All right, 7.30 a.m. Hopefully we're done by about 1.30 p.m. We're gonna take our time, take it nice and slow, enjoy the views, see all the arches and yeah, just not rush through it. We have all day today to do it, so why rush? We ain't trying to race and beat nobody. First two little detours. Looks like we got some company on this nice fine morning. Got a
but you're not facing the slightest bit and it looks like we got a little bit more company up here that buddy's looking a little skinny do you see the little one up top on to the next and there is delicate arch or not delicate arch Wait, sorry landscape, landscape arch we've already seen delicate arch I mean, crap, that's four right there, so it's got to put us at least like eight or nine already, so uh, it's crazy, crazy, crazy. Loop to trailhead, four miles. Scrambling and climbing on uneven surfaces and near cliff edges. Not recommended when icy or wet. Not icy or wet, so I think we are good. Scrambling on cliff edges are Maddie's favorite types of hikes, yeah? Sure. That's what I've heard. Right now we're in this, and uh... This sand is not the easiest set to hike in. Definitely not used to this where we're from. It's very rocky back home. So uh, I think it's gonna be a little bit before we get to the next arch as well. Probably a couple miles, so. <laughs> Cannot complain one bit when this is what you're working with. Just had one person pass us earlier and that is really the first person we've seen in just a bit we've gone just over two miles i think landscape arch was the last time we saw a person so got the trail pretty much to ourselves out here very quiet peaceful feels nice would definitely recommend waking up and getting into the park at or before crack of dawn to beat the crowds and the heat oh yeah I would not want to do this trail in the heat that we did delicate arch in yesterday. <laughs> Alrighty, on we go. This trail is pretty dope. That's this type of stuff is a lot of what we've been hiking through so far. So uh yeah. So far I would recommend it, but uh Let's see how we feel after we get more on through the trail. Uh oh, a little bit lower. How'd you get <laughs> yeah, your back butt stopped you. Here you go. <laughs> wow, this is pretty. Cool hike so far. I got a little over two and a half miles. It means we got five and a half left roughly, so yeah, not too bad. Sun's starting to come up. It is getting a little bit warmer, but we've still got a nice breeze and a little bit of that morning coolness. So gonna see if we can't finish it up before it gets to the evening heat. I mean I guess up this way. <laughs> right. That's what they say. Hey, here's a rock. Find the way you want to go up. Yeah, it looks like kind of maybe right here where it's slanted the most. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I mean, nowhere looks particularly easy. That's the sand. Right, yeah, that's looking a little... <laughs> you want to go first, babe, or you want me to go? I'll go first. Take too. your pole, yeah. <sighs> You good? Yeah. That was my mom there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she would love it.
I'm just kind of staying back and letting you do your thing. I know the video is not going to do it justice, but it is pretty steep down there. You definitely don't want to fall on that, so let's just be careful here. Choose our steps wisely. That's fine. Not too bad. Let's go on and see what is next. So pretty. You kind of gotta a little bit of rock scrambling, but back to the sand and on we go. Arch, dee -dee -dee -dee, baby arch. Okay, that's enough of that. Let's keep moving. Good grief. So pretty. We've gone just over three miles. The last half mile was a little bit of rock scrambling, so I don't think we have too much more of that, but we're gonna keep going. Just over five miles left. Let's get it. Either go over there and hop down or That. So yeah, a little bit more rock scrambling there, but nothing too bad. Okay, that way to the arch. Private arch, and then we'll come back right and continue that way. But 0.3 miles, not missing out on it. We're already here. Might as well do the little detours. I don't hmm. Hmm. Oh, that's cool. Made it to another arch. According to Maddie, this is the double O arch. About four and a half miles into the trail. There is a little detour called the Dark Horse. Angel. Dark Angel Trail. Don't think we're gonna do that because it just takes you to an overlook, doesn't take you to an arch, so. I think it just takes you to that block. Yeah, it just takes you to that little black pillar thing over there. We're gonna just yeah, keep on moving and see what else we can see. <laughs> Try not to fall. Yeah? No promises? No promises. <laughs> oh yeah. She's gonna see it. Yeah, once again, videos aren't going to do it justice. I mean, this isn't that steep, but if you fall, obviously not going to be good. But look at that view. I think he waved at me. Yep. I don't think we he waved at us. This view is insane. That's crazy. Baby arch right there. <laughs> how, how are the pictures on the GoPro? There. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah, we just always use all trails. Seems to get the job done most of the time. Yeah. Even if sometimes the distance is a little off, but. Yeah, it works. You just gotta pull it up before you lose time. Right. Yeah. Ryan, right, that's what I'm thinking. This is crazy walking up along this. 
really exposed climbs are like my favorite or hikes. <laughs> oh, you're gonna love angel climbs. I was about to say that. <laughs> that looks like a lot of the pictures. I would love one of these at least within a two hour drive. <laughs> yeah, you got some pretty we crazy rock structures, but nothing like this. We do have yeah. the buffalo, but. Right, yeah, nothing compares to this. <laughs> I got a little Christmas tree in there too, looking thing. This is cool. Right, I know, I didn't expect this back here at all. No. Oh, that's cool. count jk rowling yeah she's like maybe the most prolific one i've just read so far yeah she and she has so many and so many like it's crazy like once you read throne of glass they all connect all three worlds are you serious yes Whoa. Yeah, so i'm like i knew that they connected before like Looking i uh there. i stepped on a rock in the narrows and it rolled Oh god. Stepped on another one and it rolled. Oh man. <laughs> straight into the water. That's right. I was like, come on. <laughs> wow, this is really cool. Right. This is such a cool little area. Yeah, that's wild. When we saw this coming in, I didn't really think that we would be hiking up, but I didn't realize that. No, that's wild. Maybe that means we're all back. Not too much further. <sighs> so, Maddie and I have made it back to the car. It is just after noon. It took about four and a half hours for us to do the trail, and it was right at seven and a half miles. It's basically, at every arch, we stopped and took some pictures, got a Polaroid, that sort of stuff. Also, met a dude on the trail named Abe super cool dude hiked with us the last like two or three miles I think we're gonna go do the sand dunes arch trail now and try not to die. maybe head out of here yeah try not to die and probably find some food after that our feet are about to fall off though that was a lot of rock and sand um, that's all it was actually just you either walking walking on sand or actual rock not yeah. on rocks on, 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 on rocks. rock on rocks not gravel rocks but definitely would recommend that trail lots I liked it of water. lots of water yes would recommend that over delicate arch though um, I think I think it was prettier overall but gonna get out of here and get over don't to the over sand dunes trail yeah try not to run over anyone that's walking onto the road what do you say Probably not, but are we gonna do it anyways? Yes. We're gonna do it. You don't know we both feel like this. Yeah. I am sore and tired. Um, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and do this. So, let's get to it. We don't need no shade. We need shade. Dang, that's cool. All right, back to the car. Right at 12.30. I don't really know what we're gonna do now because that is really all that we had planned for today. Just thought it would take a little bit longer. Um, Probably gonna stop back by the visitor center on the way out and then gonna see what we can get our hands into after that. So we'll see you on a bit and keep you updated.
And real quick, the problem with going back to camp right now is we are in Moab, Utah, and there's not really much shade out. Um, the heat's not that bad, but don't really want to go sit in the sun uh, just at camp. So, gonna see what we can do to uh, occupy the time out here in Moab. So. Hey, how are you doing? Enjoy your visit. Thanks. You didn't even want to. He said, eh, get on in there. You can pass. It's fine. The visitor center is just right there. Let me turn around. So this little dirt trail right here, if y'all can hear me, is called the Schaefer Trail. We thought about doing that, but decided we wouldn't push it with the tires that I have on my car right now and still needing to drive back to Arkansas in a few days. So just sticking to the highways for now. If you can see that down there, the trail does go both ways. So as you are driving on this completely exposed cliff face, you can possibly meet a car that you have to stop for, and as you can see, the roads are not that wide. Would be fun to do on motorcycles like those guys though. That would definitely be the way to do it. All right, back to the car and on we go. We were going to wait on the Mesa Arch Trail and do it tomorrow morning, but I think we're gonna go ahead and do it. I know he said no hiking, but this is only 0.7 miles in and out, so. I think we're gonna go ahead and knock it out and then tomorrow morning when we wake up we'll just go ahead and head over to Mesa Verde National Park and spend a little bit more time there. Let's go right, keep it counterclockwise. So I said it was in and out, I am incorrect. It is a loop and I didn't know that, she just failed to correct me uh, when I said it. So, way to leave your hand there. Can you seem to say for yourself? Copy. Now she's dragging me out, make me go on this too. I was gonna ask you that. I think it's a good idea actually. Huh. Yeah, I don't know what I expected on the other side, but. <laughs> Yeah, that was a crazy view. Might have been one of the best arches we've seen. And uh, it's the only one we've seen here. And we saw maybe like 10 to 12 at arches, so. Skirt. You heard that? Yeah. No, you didn't. It's okay.
is why it's called Canyonlands. Yeah, so this is why it's called Canyonlands. Dang, I wonder if you can get in down in that. Is that the maze? Mm, I don't know. That would make sense. Look at it. Gosh, that doesn't even look real. That's so crazy. I already know. I had to get that Polaroid. This is just crazy. Alright, so I kind of forgot to film a little outro yesterday. Maddie and I, after we went to Canyonlands, we ended up going to a little RV park right by where the campground is, getting some showers and grabbing some food after. And didn't really feel like cooking last night after the long day we had. I left the camp at about 5.45, 6 a.m. Didn't get back till like 7.30ish. Yeah, 7.30ish, but we are leaving Kins Lake Campground now, heading over to Mesa Verde National Park, but that is gonna be in the next video, so this is where this one ends hope you all enjoyed the video thanks so much for watching have a great rest of the day till next time peace